everyone. Today I'm diving into the intense protests erupting in Kashmir after the assassination of Hezbollah leader Hassan Nasrallah. Mo, I'm so sorry to interrupt. We do now have official confirmation from the Hezbollah group of the death of Hassan Nasrallah. What's your response, please? I'm so sorry. Let's um, let's end the interview there. We were talking to Mawa Osman, journalist and TV show host, uh, clearly um, visibly shaken by the breaking news we're bringing you right now. Hundreds of Kashmiris have flooded the streets, expressing immense outrage over Nasrallah's death. The air is thick with tension as demonstrators wave pictures of Nasrallah, chant slogans condemning Israel and the United States, and hold black flags in mourning. Duh. This isn't just about Nasrallah. It's a powerful show of solidarity with the Palestinian cause and a fierce opposition to Israeli actions. Nasrallah's death, reportedly from an Israeli airstrike in Beirut, has sparked a wave of anti-Israel sentiment that's sweeping across the region. In Kashmir, a region already fraught with its own issues, these protests underscore the deep-seated anger and grief felt by many. I'm talking to the Israel, the chief minister of Israel. I'm talking to the Palestinian Palestinians. Despite the risks, people are standing firm, reflecting their deep opposition to Israeli policies. But there's more to this story. These protests are happening just as Kashmir is gearing up for its first legislative assembly elections since 2014. Political leaders like Mehbooba Mufti have even paused their campaigns, showing solidarity with Lebanon and mourning Nasrallah. This highlights the political weight of these protests and their significance for the Kashmiri people. Now, this presents a huge challenge for Indian authorities, especially with the elections around the corner. The protests are a stark reminder of the complex relationship between India and Kashmir, a region with a unique cultural identity and a long history of autonomy. The world is watching closely, waiting to see how the Indian government will respond. These protests are more than just a reaction, they're a powerful demonstration of the strength of feeling in Kashmir. The willingness of ordinary people to hit the streets, even in such a charged political climate, speaks volumes about their convictions. It's a vivid reminder of the enduring power of solidarity and the importance of standing up for what you believe in, even in the face of adversity. That's it for today's update. Stay tuned for more on this developing story. Until next time, take care. Oh, oh.